Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. In the last episode, we were going through the True Lab to try to get out to know Alphys a little bit better. Uh, we are in the Pacifist Route. And we we're finishing up the Pacifist Route. Um, basically, the things that we have found out is that Alphys was experimenting with determination from the six human souls that were down here, extracting it and trying to put it into monsters uh, so that their souls could persist after death. And uh, so that they could use those souls to break the barrier rather than having to use human souls. But it seems as if something went wrong. And then also on the side, there was experiments with a flower injecting a monster soul that has determination into a flower. So... No, 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 no! What? That's an entry? That doesn't give you me, me very much information to work with there. Oh, God. Okay. Great. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's- whoa, okay, this thing is wacko. Wacko McGee. Oh! I was gonna say, I'm not gonna be able to get past this thing. Okay. We got Shiren. Mold bug. And... Aaron, looks like. So, lemon bread. Yeah, so we got flex, uh, unhug, and hum would be the three. Well, let's do hum. Wow, wow. Welcome to my special hell. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. That sucks. Let's also flex. Stay here with me. Oh, I hate this attack. I'm gonna die. No, I'm fine. You think I'm pretty? Not really, to be honest. But I'm not gonna tell you that. Unhug. You let Lemon Bread be. Lemon Bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. be goodbye? Ah, I got it. Alright. Determination extraction machine. Status inactive. Okay. Cold. This is what we needed. The families keep calling to ask where when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I didn't even answer I don't even answer the phone anymore. So that's what the letters were piled up on her desk for. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everybody being angry. One about his cute teacup that he found found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Even though it's like jostling back and forth. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's empty. Oh! You lie. It's not a refrigerator. It's an amalgamate. Oh. Oh, it's Snow Drake. Snow Drake and Vegetoid? He's gonna tell a joke. Snowy. Oh, this is sad. It doesn't even attack me. Joke. Laugh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this one's creepy. Her expression starts to shift. <laughs> I remember. This is sad. Press and changes more. Uh -huh. Thank you. So they're not evil, they're just lost and confused. But it's not funny. Yeah, you're right, this is not funny, this is sad. She 
just completely calm down. Oh. Okay. Oh, blue. There we go. We got the green one. We've actually got all of them. We got the yellow one uh, on the keychain. We just got the blue one. I can't remember where the blue key was, though. I'm pretty sure it was up, like, here. What's in here? Oh, wait. I didn't go into this room, did I? Aha! There we go. This is an entry. Oh, there's four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find anything, any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and finding these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. What? Okay, can I play them? Yes. Tape one. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no! My favorite vegetable is... Edamame! Get it? I do not remember the voice I did for Toriel at all. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet! Hee hee hee! Now, if you were a dog, what breed of dog would I... If I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Um, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mamaranian. Ho oh, ho You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be... A famous Mamedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Lol. Okay, take two. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, Mike, are you ready? Do your creepy face! Ah! <laughs> oh, wait! I had the lens cap on! What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me! <laughs> okay. Howdy, Mike! Smile for the camera! Hmm. I have suspicions. Ha! This time I got you! I left the cap on on purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason! Hee <laughs> hee What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers really got him sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should've laughed it off, like you did. Um, anyway... Where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. Uh... Alright. So, this is Mike. I think what I was talking about a few episodes ago is true. We're not actually Mike. We're like... Mike was a human that was the human that was down here forever ago that died. And uh, Azriel died taking taking him back to taking the human back to their village. We got that story in the like right before we went and faced Asgore. So I think that we are like a reincarnation of that human. We named ourselves Mike, but Mike was actually the original human. But it's interesting. It sounds like Mike was evil. Yeah. I, I don't like this idea, Mike. Well, what? No, no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Mike. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Am 
Mike, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Mike, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst. Mike, please. Please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Oh boy, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to take a pause real quick, but I will be right back. Okay, so... It seems like our suspicions have been confirmed. That Mike was the first human that fell down here. A human that the king and queen took care of. And in these videos we just saw was sort of like a sibling to Asriel. Now, Asriel, we know, absorbs the human soul in order to cross the barrier and take the human back to the, the overworld, the surface. <clears throat> it seems as if Mike the human was possibly doing that with bad intentions because it sounds like they put flowers into Asgore's soul or sorry not soul flowers into Asgore's pie to try to kill him maybe so that the human could absorb the monster soul Mike could absorb Asgore's soul and become powerful but instead resorted to a plan where if Mike died, his soul would go and he would have Azrael absorb his soul and bring destruction. Either that or to f break the barrier, but Azrael didn't break the barrier and also Azrael was saying we just need to get six. So I don't know. Seems like there were some ill intentions there from Mike, the first human. But, uh, who knows? So, I guess that makes us the angel, the one who has seen the surface and will come down to liberate the, uh, monsters. We'll see. Anyway, let's, uh, go find the blue. Blue. Where's the blue? Is it back here? I felt like it was back here. Nope. Okay, I want to find the blue key, right? Or green. I can't remember. <clears throat> no, we did the green one. We need the blue one. Oh, wait. We already saw it. Was it back here? I think it was back here. Oh. Oh. That lag's back there. It is. There we go. Okay. Well. Interesting. So how does Flowey play into all of this? Because Flowey was injected with determination. And for some reason is like evil. So I guess it's like a, 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 a monster. Why do I get... I'm getting like a, a dink sound over here. I guess it's like a monster's soul turned like s turned heartless because of how long it's been trapped in the flower or something. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Turned off. Okay. Turned off. Big room. Yes. No! Don't do this! You guys are nice! I know- I know that you're nice! Hey! Stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they spelled with those potato chips you had and... Anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. 
This is probably just a big inconvenience for you, but, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power de I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to make the concentrate to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't let it tell anyone about it, no matter how every how much everyone is asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times while I struggle, where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again, but knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Oh. Alphys, good. So Alphys had a lot more going on behind the scenes. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew up before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Um... The garden is where Asriel died, and it sprang up right right before the queen left, which is right after he died? The flower's gone. It's a voice you've never heard before. Mike, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Mike, see you soon. Um... Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like we're finishing the game today, guys. I need food. You know, why didn't I fill my... Why didn't I fill my, my inventory with, or my boxes with stuff once I figured out that you can do it interdimensionally? You can access it from anywhere. Why am I walking this whole way? Oh, I couldn't use the elevator, could I? Wow, it's quiet. Okay. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Okay, a voice I've never heard before, but they say it's been a long time as if we're familiar with one another. Um, where am I going exactly?
Okay. All right, Asgore. <clears throat> Are we fighting again? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it then. Ready? Here we go. Deja vu! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. BAM! Oh! <gasps> That's new! Toriel! What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. Oh, I've missed your music so much, and I've missed you. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure it must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take, him and take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to, right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Ag Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back! Do not tory me, dreamer, you pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six full souls from the hu human, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature, but... Do not- do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends! Or else I'll- Oh! Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah! Nice to meet you too! Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy! Hey! And nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello! Uh, uh, hi, hi! There's two of them?! Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello? Oh, hello, your majesty! Psst! Hey, human! Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice too! I am Toriel. It is so nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and uh, Zane. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother Papyrus. Greetings Papyrus, it is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wow wee! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snow-proof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay! There's plenty of fish in the sea! Yeah, Asgore, Undyne's totally right about the fish thing, since sometimes you just gotta, uh... Stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god, will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it! 
<laughs> well, uh, I guess. If you want to, then don't hold anything back. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as, as if you must stay here for a while. Wait, what? I don't know what that said. But looking at all the great friends that you've made... Oh, yeah. I think... I think you will be happy here. Yeah, I can stay. Hey, hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call every... How did you know to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. A tiny... Flower? <gasps> oh, God! No! No! You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls! And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friend's souls are gonna be mine, too! <laughs> and, and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault! It's all because you made them love you! All the time I spent... You spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the, and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach, and then tear it away from you just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will be finally everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You I'll keep you here no matter what! Oh. Oh. Even if it means killing you one million times! Ow. 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 Uh, do the thing where it heals me again, please! <gasps> what? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. <gasps> yes! Yes! That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Yes! Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you too! Come on, you got this! La la la! You've got to win! D you can do it! Urgh. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... you... I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! No! Monster Kid, Royal Guard, even Muffet was there. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Mike, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. Oh boy. Here we go. 